back there was an isolated incident. Now pick up these bags and let's move on!
You sure they're not following you? You see, the Vagos can go places a U.S. extradition treaty can't. I mean, nice, hot places with beaches that will otherwise attract a snowbird like me. Okay. Okay. Good. <laughs> we got the molly. Now keep on moving. Come on. Away from here. Go for it.
So, uh, Mr. Crest said we should talk about uh, work, but uh, not here. So is there a room in the back or something? Cool, I'll get set up. So, Mr. Crest said you might be able to help me out with something. Well, not me, so that's clear. It's not me you're gonna be helping. And I want to understood that I am not involved. Just a bystander doing a favor. And this is not an offer of employment so much as an opportunity. And, well, anyway, that's just getting a bit technical. But the point is, sometimes our fair and legal justice system makes mistakes. And this is one such time. Here he is, Professor Maxim Rashkovsky. You know the professor? Used to be head of research for the army. Three doctorates. Overconfident polymath, vain sociopath, tedious egomaniac, control freak, geneticist, weapons development, engineer, car nut, but definitely not a people person. Accused of espionage along with everything else? You don't remember? Well, lucky you. Exceedingly vain and self-absorbed man, brilliant at everything he does, yada yada yada, makes you want to puke. He's a goddamn traitor. I mean, he's a rat, but he pays. Incarcerated for a crime he did commit, but, well, let's just say money talks and he's going to walk. So, we got a few things to get ready, all pretty straightforward. Do them one at a time, but any way you like. Standard op for a gov fact breakout, if you know what I mean. Rad. All right, first thing's a plane, then we got a bus, and th then, well, Two things, we got the inmate transfer schedule and Rashkovsky's car. More on that later, let me show you. We need a plane to get the professor out of the country. It's currently being used to traffic drugs by transnational street gang, the Vagos. The bus, we need a standard Bolingbrook transport vehicle. The least traffic is on the route from Polito Bay. All right, that's where you're gonna be able to get a hold of one. You can get a hard copy of the inmate transit schedule at the LSPD's Mission Row station. Go in unarmed. Play it cool, you might not have a problem. That's a two-person job, max. The other two-handers are guys prize Casco. We believe it's about to be shipped to Korea by a luxury car theft ring. Okay, Mr. Crest said you guys are at least semi-competent, so, well, Professor Reshkovsky pays well.
Ah, yes, yes, this will uh, do very nicely. Very nice place you've got. Very uh, chic. <laughs> Nothing like a bourgeois bank robber to remind me of how strange Los Santos has become. In my day, the psychos at least had the dignity to be psychotic. Nowadays, it's all about uh, home furnishings and going straight. All right, you ready? Because this is it. Well, it's, it's not it, but uh, it's something. It's something uh, very big. It's not quite ready yet, but I wanted to uh, see how you're doing. What I've got is a Fleesa Bank franchise. And it's nothing too complicated. There's no buy-in. Normally, there would be a buy-in. You would put in money up front, we would arrange the job, and you would pull it off. But this time, I'll uh, cover the upfront costs. Call it the uh, price of getting a look at you. And there's no risk to you. Unless, of course, you count uh, getting locked up or shot. <laughs> so, you ready? And what do you think? You uh, got questions, comments, concerns? All right, what are you waiting for? Let's go see this place. There's a police of franchise on the Western Highway near Chumash. Take us there. Word of warning, we're on the job right now, so don't let the cops notice you. If they come after us, we call it off. So, my taciturn friends, I suppose you want to know how we're doing this. Well, funny you should ask. We're driving out to the bank, taking a look at it, picking up some equipment, and then heading back to make our plans. Not very complex at all. We're not going in, we're not poking it with a stick. We're just sitting back and taking a look. You see, uh, I like my scores like I like my dates. Across the street and unaware they're being watched. Ha <laughs> ha! All right, so why this bank over all the other banks in the state? Why does fortune favor this one? Hmm? Another good question. You're full of good questions. You're like a child whose parents think it's clever, or the IRS. Ugh. Well, this bank's got some safety deposit boxes. And in one of those safety deposit boxes are some bonds being hidden from the tax man that no one's gonna report missing. All starting to uh, make sense. Security should be light. Well, relatively light. Light if your daydreams are raids on the Union Depository. Quite heavy if your day job is turning over liquor stores and gas stations. And the bonds in the box will be worth more than a few rumpled notes from a till, so the minor escalation is worth it. Plus, you know, the sea view. <laughs> Nothing like staring at the ocean while you contemplate money, power, incarceration, hom excuse me, and homicide. Yeah, all those weighty issues surrounding your first foray into serious armed robbery. I'm assuming you're kind of a cerebral crew because otherwise this whole not talking deal just kind of puts you on the spectrum, right? <laughs> there it is. Take a look. Drink it in. I've patched into their security feed on my cell. Take a look. We looking at um, small joint, not much security. Staff won't give a crap, <laughs> especially about the deposit boxes. Customers will probably be thinking uh, how to turn this into a screenplay. <laughs> the boxes are in the back behind the safe door. We want box number 167. Yeah, it's right on the highway with good access. That works for you. You can get out quick, but it'll also work for the cops. Speed up their response time. Okay? Okay. Mm -hmm. We've seen what we're gonna see. Let's go to the garment factory. Now, when you hit the bank, you're gonna need to hack into its security system. I've written a neat little program that'll do most of the work for you, but it's probably a good idea for you to familiarize yourselves with it. You, in the passenger seat, I've sent it to your phone. Now take it for a dry run, keep your hands steady, and maybe the wet run won't be a disaster. Uh, 
I'm calling Paige. She's my assistant. First she's gonna get us what we need, then she's gonna sell me in half. <laughs> that one? Uh, you don't make it easy. Yeah. Paige, it's Lester. The place looked good. Nothing we weren't expecting. Can you get the intel together? Hard copies to go on a notice board. Yeah, plus all the equipment we spoke about. I'll be over to collect it with uh, those people. Yeah. Mmm, charming as ever. Okay, see you soon. She's loading the hardware into the back of a truck tools for the job, things for you to wear. On a job, your attire will depend on the role you're performing. As a job gets more complicated, so will the uniforms. If you're likely to be seen by civilians, you'll be provided with a couple of masks. Then, when you go into the bank, you can choose one that uh, goes with your eyes. <laughs> and hey, there's the added bonus of none of your favorite comic convention outfits being linked to a major crime. <laughs> whoop de doo All right, where were we? Ah, masks. Paige, oh yeah. Uh, we'll go over there, pick her up, and go back to your place to plan this thing. And I can talk you through the planning board later. That might be helped by a visual aid. The rest is pretty self-explanatory. Listen to me, do what I say. Bullets go in here, come out there. And if you're ever caught, you keep your mouth shut. <laughs> I couldn't resist. Nice to meet you. Back to your place. Can I claim for a work-related injury? Is it all there? I think so. You want to get out and check? Go down the inventory? Or are you happy sitting there? Making a perfect butt imprint in your easy wipe seat. I'll take your word for it. Thank you. It should... Hey! It should all be there. The clothes. Guns, headsets, hold-alls, masks, the drill. The files with all the photos and surveillance work. Hey, there's enough here to make us all look real suspicious. Nice little conspiracy to commit robbery charge waiting to happen. What, they're gonna charge us with thought crime? Not so much thought as everything but the deed crime. We'd be caught with our pants down and a hard-on out to here. Well, we're not getting caught. These are professionals. So I hear. The cheapest professionals money can buy. I like to think of it as investing in new talent. <laughs> and until you and me start playing low-rent Bonnie and Clyde, that's the way it's gotta be. She didn't mean anything by that, by the way. Uh, she's just a little brusque. If they were offended, they would have said something. Okay, okay, okay. Now, Paige will set up a board for you, won't you, Paige? <laughs> I'd let you do it if you could reach. I mean, I didn't see any milk crates for you to stand on. <laughs> mm-hmm. The uh, most important thing to look for in an employee is respect. You can't get anything done without respect. <laughs> Where was I? Uh, oh, yes, yes, uh, the room. And Paige is setting up this board on which you will plan your scores. You'll use it to uh, set out all the prep work you need to do, uh, select your crew, figure out how the take from a score should be split up. So you need a crew to take a score. But only one person can be in charge. Respect. Hmm? Isn't that right, Paige? Blow me. <laughs> all right, it's blow me. <clears throat> You're only going to need uh, one thing for this uh, for this job. It's a high-speed armored car. Now, instead of 
getting one legitimately and leaving a nice long paper trail to your front door, you're going to be jacking one from a nasty Korean crew and leaving a nice long paper trail to their door instead. <laughs> this is good to go. Hey, here's your board. Good, good, good. And when you're ready to move on the car, go over it. Study the plan. Tick it off the list. You must be methodical. This isn't just a dumb crime. Well, there, there is an element of that, huh? <laughs> oh. <laughs> and when you've got the car, we'll come back here and talk bank jobs. <laughs> Big jobs, big jobs. I don't 
some people's stupidity, but you gotta be very fucking dumb to let the cops catch you in one of these. It's got muscle, traction, lightweight armor that shouldn't compromise performance. This is the one for us. Now, get it back in one piece, and I'll shut up about it. Coming together. A getaway car has to be able to, uh, 